Woo! Oh, welcome back, guys. Back again. Oh, Season wow. Season one, uh -huh. episode six, part one. Sick days. Sick days. Uh, sick days. Sick, sick days. It's good to see you guys survive all the pandemics. You yeah. Know? yeah. Yeah, all of them. Did you, Every oh. stage of them. Yes. Did you guys actually get yeah. COVID? Any of you? Oh, let's oh, let's, Ooh, let's oh, take these. Sorry, off. did y'all like get these? Off. Hot, I can't it's see. It's a little hot. Up it is this. so hot. I got my bush popping out the mask here. Did, did uh, this thing ever even work? This no. Face mask, the shield. Okay, definitely. but um, who got high on their own breath? Oh, oh, my, oh, oh, I did, I, oh, oh, my breath was bad. Wow, so wow, for wow, the wow, listeners wow. at home, um, <laughs> this episode is Sick Days, which is like the actual COVID episode of Ned's Declassified. Uh, the 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 pandemic, the quarantine episode. So we were just wearing face shields and masks. Uh, but they're off now because my goodness, I'm I'm done hard, with that. Man. Wow, it like feels that. like and heat, like a heater on my and face. And the <laughs> amount of times over the last couple years where I was wearing a mask and just being destroyed by my own breath and like yeah. loving it. No, hold on, you freak. <laughs> I loved it. Okay. Sometimes I was just like, wow, <laughs> awful. You like, you like stank? I love stank. In fact, oh. I just made a story today. <laughs> Before I got in the shower, I uh, oh. fingered my belly button quick. Oh. Okay, 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 belly and button, belly button. sniffed it. It's horrible. What? Your belly button? Oh my God, have <laughs> you guys ever smelled your belly button? <laughs> <laughs> well, if that's Holy what bad. Button Holy like, I'm like, what is alien. everything else? <laughs> Holy, that's not a human. Holy cheese farm. It <laughs> is wild. Was there a certain I want you to do it right now. Was there, you, is there a red right right now? Like, my belly button is clean. No, but go going in. in. Go in deep. Go in deep. No, no, no. All good. No, okay. like go deep. Yeah, yeah, all good. It's solid. What kind of stinky ass belly you got? Well, how does one's belly button become stinky? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> we, what are you, you putting in there? Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Not one thing. All right, you, can you share with Devin what your belly button smells like? Yeah, go ahead. Let's see, Devin. No, it I would never. Okay. Get in that bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I would never. I know. Give me a whiff, Liz. Fine. Oh, here you we see go. See how easy it is. Damn oh, here we go. Peer pressure on Lindsay works like that. Good, good. As it should. <laughs> That's a, that really ruined She's my digging, life. guys, for, for those know, just I'm listening. So sorry. Is it better? It's better now? It's better now. Yeah, you cleaned oh, it today. Okay, good. You took um, a bath. <laughs> she just, she just reaching in there, hadn't bathed in days. No, oh, you guys, God, okay. But can I also tell you something? So I had a belly button ring, and when you take that shit out, uh. I don't know. That piercing still stays down there, oh. and you got to keep that shit clean. Oh, so maybe that's why it stinks. Like is that soap hole. scum? Oh, oh. <laughs> soap scum. <laughs> this is scum. This is wild. I haven't like, used the word scum in is, so long. This is. I mean, I know we overshare on this podcast, but we're just hitting the ground I running think today. Soap scum gets caught in the hole. Oh, soap scum. Soap, soap scum. scum. Soap scum. Like Damn. wet soap that has dried somewhere and maintained a stinky odor. Oh. <laughs> Dang, okay. Well. well, all right, so you know the way like, you know, like you kind of like enjoy the smell of your own farts? Do of you enjoy the stink of your own belly button? Oh, uh, yes. Did it give you a little dopamine hit? Yes, you're like, you're like, yes, Ooh, yes, I'm a stinky. Yes. I love being a stinky girl. <laughs> nice. This is. Daniel? Do I love being a stinky girl? Yeah. No, no, no. Being with a stinky girl. Being with a stinky girl? Uh, it depends how many beers. <laughs> how many beers, you know, did I throw back? And why do I feel like Devin seeks out, like, you don't look with your eyes, you look with your nose when you are trying to find a lady. Oh, dang. <laughs> no, no, right? It out. Not true. Wait, is it? Wow. I, I feel like he's, he. Yeah, I think he likes to stink, though. I he looks like one of those agree. guys who wakes up completely and agree. kisses someone in the mouth at, at, after, you know. Not brushing their teeth. Right. We don't need to brush oh our teeth. Oh my gosh, you're morning. a morning lover. Oh, I hate yeah. that. We don't, Can't need, do it. we don't need to brush our teeth in the morning. I think we should. Well, people sometimes. Should. Sometimes. But not all the time. Sometimes you just waking up. It's all good. I can't do it. She got to get like, out of my face. Like, I don't have, I haven't brushed. You haven't brushed. We're even ground. It's all good. <gasps> oh, yeah. Ah. What, can't do Miss, that. Can't Miss do that. smells her own stinky ah, belly button and, what, and enjoys it. What does and gross me out? Uh -oh. Does gross me out? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? If I just get any whiff of anything in the morning, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, especially if it's not mine. Yeah. Like you know, I can wake up with my stink breath, exactly. but I don't want to smell your stink breath. I feel like I don't mine, have a strong sense of smell, so like it doesn't just bother me much. Strong sense huh. of self. Definitely. <laughs> oh, well, dang. Um, yeah, I mean, I can look. There's a difference. There's a difference between like someone having any type of odor and that sour odor. You know what I mean? Huh. So Wait, so which one do you prefer? The yeah. sour <laughs> or the 
No. Oh, okay. man. Okay. Thanks. Wait, I like odors. Uh, just odors. I'm saying I like my I'm saying sour like odor. Sometimes yeah. regular from no, everybody else. I don't even like my sour odor. Like there's like there's odor where it's like oh no no like you need to see a doctor <laughs> or like Damn. or like you need there. to take some vitamins or like have you drank water in the last week? Dang. You know, there's like that odor yeah. and then there's just like you know human. Yeah. yeah. And I'm cool with human. Yeah. Yeah. You said you don't wear deodorant, right? Uh. Re- uh Rare, rarely, yeah. Rarely. We, rarely. we need a deodorant sponsor. Any, any, <laughs> anybody? Again? No, no, anybody? get in there. Are you sure? Go on, go on, Lens. Fine, right? He's We're got some on. Yeah, He's got I, some know, on I can there. smell that it's Devin under there. Oh, you smell it. But it's not bad. It's not bad. So you I smell like that it. stank underneath. Yeah, no, no. no. I smell him. Yeah, oh. that's, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. There's, there's still human. Yeah. it's not oh. scentless. But it's not like it's not oh stinky. you're sick mm-hmm. go take a bath <laughs> right 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 like right, your right. belly button okay. sickness, sickness, <laughs> you know yeah. what I've told you that the pus fucking hole oh, down there oh from the piercing the pus has hole. changed pus things hole. no but has anybody else had their <laughs> no 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 listen to me I love that I love that it it like the hole <laughs> is like I can't it won't close you gotta clean in there clean but that pus like hole un, but it's <laughs> unable sometimes sometimes I'm playing with whatever people with, with spelmic rings they're literally gonna be like I totally understand oh yeah my uh, my old piercing stinks too. It smells like cottage Damn. cheese. No, listen. I, really I already got. Her. I already got DMs from people who were like, "Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about." Oh, damn. So it's not just me, for sure. Wow. Yeah. So I I have like an innie Audi, so mm-hmm. I have to clean the lint out of it often. <laughs> often. Great. So I feel like that's why it doesn't stink because I have to get in there daily and like pull <laughs> the just... lint out, and the lint is probably soaking up. Right, you know, the, the sting. sting. Yeah. So you're oh a belly gosh. button cleaner. Do people do that? Do people clean their belly button often? I have to. Guys, listeners, viewers, I'm so glad you join us for this pod because <sighs> it's chaos. It is. It's chaos. It's and chaos. we always get sidetracked. But let's dive into the episode, <laughs> shall we? Sick days. Honestly, this is the episode that got memed the shit out of during the pandemic. Oh, yeah. And it really made me laugh because I kind of forgot about this episode. Yeah. But everyone was posting... The, the clips from when Ned is going through the hall, get back, get back, get back yeah. with the spray and the mask, like, yeah. and then the, the beach ball, like, yeah. really funny stuff, really relevant during the pandemic, yeah. obviously. We were all like, oh my gosh. Ned's predicted COVID. Guys. Exactly. Yeah, that, yeah. Wild. Um, had one of my favorite gags, which was uh, getting to run around in that, in that human-sized beach ball. Oh, oh my um, gosh, yeah. 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 Just to go over it for, for those of you who haven't rewatched with us, uh, this is the episode of Sick Days. There is a very contagious flu. Yeah. We could call it a pandemic going around James K. Polk. Everyone is getting sick. Ned does not want to get sick because Matt Hoffman, the world famous BMX biker, is coming into uh, Mr. Monroe's class later that day. He mm-hmm. wants to meet Matt Hoffman, so he's trying to avoid getting sick. Mose wants to get sick because she's afraid of public speaking, which is yeah. one of the world's number one fears wow. of Edo, yeah. is public speaking. Totally. So wow. Mose really? does not want to give a speech in front of the class, so yeah. she's literally having people cough in her face. Dude, asymptomatic super spreader. Right. She's going around licking people like <laughs> yeah. it's like really gross. Yeah, yeah. You're no, one of the bad ones. Exactly. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Part and of then, the problem. And then mm-hmm. Cookie, mm-hmm. Always. <laughs> Cookie is super sick, but he's trying not to get caught by the nurse to be sent home because he has a perfect attendance record. Oh, he's bad too. Then. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, you're, you're the right. super yeah, spreader, oh, right? He's the, oh. You're the super spreader. Oh. Oh. You're, you're disgusting. Yeah. You're part of the problem, <laughs> Daniel. And you're part Matt of the problem. Hoffman. You I get Matt Hoffman sick. sick. Yes. Um, and and that's how it goes. Ned ends up getting sent home, even though he wasn't sick. Cookie ends up being saved by Lisa Zemo oh, and getting yes. Matt Hoffman sick. That is. I wait, that wait. Moment. I don't understand. Wait, Lisa, when was Matt Hoffman? I don't. I don't remember that part. Like at the very end of the episode, I f- I get to live Devin's to, dream. Yeah. Right, Ned's right. Dream, I remember that. And I'm riding on the back with Matt Hoffman, yeah. and then Matt Hoffman just sneezes, sneezes you hear and they crash oh, off scene. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh! Watching you two, uh, the, those the dummy gag, is so and then just watching you two like joyful, like riding with him on the back of the uh-huh, bike uh-huh. made me so happy. Scott loved that those dummies were not real. It, oh yeah, yeah he it is that. the yeah. fun. I saw actually a TikTok of that going around, and man, that is just silly. That's just a silly good time. Yeah, yeah. Is yeah. is watching the dummies. Obviously, a dummy strapped to Matt Hoffman's back. Watch the <laughs> legs like flop around, uh-huh, but then uh-huh. cut to a close up of me or Cookie going yeah. like, Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that is one of my so favorite sweet. Ned's gags. Um, yeah, that that really made me laugh. Uh, on top of the beach ball, which was one of my favorite things we did on Ned's, or one of the my favorite gags that I got to do, yeah. which yeah. was run around. Wait, now thing. how did they keep the air in there? Like it was. 
Like I mean, well, they just blew it. In, they blew they it blow up, it in, and then there's just oh, you're, a limited. Was it a zipper or no? Yeah, yeah I climbed in zipper, through a zipper, the but then they're like zipper. blowing like a Ooh, like a. And you have to be in there the whole time they're blowing that up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet but that was that hot up shitty, in there. right? No, it's fine. Hot air? Oh, it's fine. Oh. And then and then there's just a limited amount of time in there before I die. Right. Nice. Excellent, right? Mm. Nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Question: Now, would the ball deflate as there became less oxygen in there? No. No, it would stay big with the CO two. Exactly. Got exactly. It. Mm. So it's not deflating. It's just all killing die. you. Yeah. 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 Okay. There's a limited yeah. amount of time. Yeah. Before you, that do you feel oxygen. like you lost some brain cells in there? Like, w- would you be a uh, like maybe even more intelligent Devin today if you had what? not gone through that? <laughs> <laughs> a few. Did you say something? <laughs> what? what focus? Oh my god. Yeah. Yes. A lot of things on Ned's made me dumber. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> One of my favorite uh, parts of the episode was Moses' uh, degenerate behavior, trying to get sick. Which yeah, is something yeah. I think is out of character for Moses. A little bit. Little bit. Little bit. Moses is a little more of a shitster than I actually remember. Eh? Yeah, you were a shitster. Yeah, Don't no, I, there we was a reason I was shits. friends with you two. Yeah, right? oh, yeah, yeah like, for sure. Because, for sure, for sure so. Okay, yeah. Yeah, the, the shot, there's this shot, listeners who aren't rewatching with us, there's a shot of Moses wanting to get sick, and so there's two kids at a desk coughing, and Moe's comes up in between them, behind them, and just turns their faces <laughs> into her, and she's so pleased and calm yeah. as they're coughing on her, and you breathe yeah. in. That made me laugh really hard. That whole oh, montage wow. coming in and like taking his Kleenex, because my favorite part was how I looked at it at the end. It wasn't like a smile, it was like a... Mm, like, it just like a move off. I yeah. just, I love yeah, it that was, it was great. little thing. But then also, what I... Re- Rachel is, or uh, Lisa Zemo is always lurking. She's yeah. Oh yeah, she's lurker, looming in the background. Lurker. Yeah. Yeah. And l- d- one of the funniest scenes was you at the door sort of like talking to her and then the dialogue just stops and you take another beat before you go and then she's just standing there. It's yeah, it's, those it's moments, the yeah. lurky strangeness. Dude. This episode really solidified her as like a love interest st- stalker though. Yeah, for right, sure, right, for right, sure. right, right. A stalky right. love interest. But, but, but somebody with good intentions. With good intentions. She, she helped saves you out. Me. She saves Cookie. I was like, oh, this is a she, genuine moment. She always checks the right ear. The right, yeah, exactly. That um, line was great. In all of our rewatches, she, like, I, I, I don't know if I didn't notice it on when we were kids, but like in the rewatch, I'm like, she's so funny. She makes so me laugh funny. Yeah. in every scene yep. yeah. that yeah. she's in. I'm like, this girl's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. So Rachel Sibner, shout out. She's yeah, the truth. we love Rachel, man. Yeah, she's great. dude, you were so, so funny, man. Yeah. Um, did you guys ever get COVID? No. I got COVID. I got it twice, if I recall correctly. I think, uh, like, right when it hit. When did it hit? Was this like 2021 or 2020? 2020, 2020. 2020, 2020. Was, was, the, was the hot one. I think top of 2021 was my first time getting COVID. Mm. That was Omicron. Mm. Was it? Omicron was top of 2021, I think. Or was that 2022? Ooh, I don't know. We'll have to fact check Yeah, that might have been 2022, It's 2023? I, I, I got yeah. whatever was before Omicron, so okay. maybe it was at the end of Delta. 2020. It Delta. was that, that Delta that thing. I had that Delta. Delta variant. You were flying on Delta. Bruh, it, I was like, it was the fatigue and the muscles and I've never had the flu. Like I'm not a flu shot getting guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was like, oh, it's going to be fine. Yeah. That I had never felt so tired in my like muscles. Whoa. Like mm. my, yeah, Whoa, my body. That body ache, I didn't want to get up and do anything. And I had to just sit there for like, I want to say like two weeks or Whoa. something like that. But even after like my chest was still just like. Cool. Like it was just a whole bunch of gunk in there for Damn. like two more weeks, man. Damn. That's crazy. Yeah. That's wow. crazy. I still don't think I ever got, I never tested positive. I, so. there were times I felt, I mean, for like, for, for 2020, 2021, and a little bit of 2022, anytime I felt a little symptom of anything in my body, I was like, oh, this is it. Vitamin C and- this is it. Get tested. <laughs> yeah. oh. Negative every time. So don't. I don't know, man. You too, huh? I, and, I am, and you're out here. Like I am not a sick person. Fingering belly yeah. buttons. I'm not a sick. Oh, I'm not either. Get it, yeah. I'm not even. I'm not even tested myself for COVID that often. <laughs> <laughs> like, she, no, 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 no. She as fucked in, up for sure. As in, <laughs> she as in, I've never. Oh I've never felt that way. I've Dude, never no. felt like my symptoms are lacking. It's always up here. I never am physically sick. Like That's I, good. I promise That's good. you. That's good. God bless you. I mean, when you say it's always up here, do you just mean you're mentally sick? Yes. <laughs> is that what you're saying? Yes. 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 I'm just, the call I'm just is to still make... coming from inside the house, but it's upstairs. <laughs> oh dang! Okay. It's in the attic. Okay. okay? Wow. But um, really, yeah. I meant I don't have to because I didn't feel symptoms or like yeah, yeah. sick at all. Wow. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I I really locked. I'm surprised I didn't get it because I really locked down for the first year. But then when LA 
opened up. It was like summer of 2021. Uh, LA was like, okay, if you have a Vax card, you can go places now. Mm -hmm. Like I went out like that first weekend in June, like all three nights. Mm. I just I just Dodging did some it. degenerate shit <laughs> yeah. out in public, and it just felt so good to be out around people like oh, dancing. Man, it felt so yeah. good. I was like. I've missed people. Man. I've been locked in my apartment. Oh. I, it felt so good on my spirit. I, I definitely got sick after that weekend. Mm. I was like, it oh, just wasn't COVID. I was like, oh, germs are real. Yeah, but, yeah. but it just wasn't yeah, COVID. Yeah, yeah, right, I was right, like, right. oh, I've been away from germs for yeah. a year. Yeah, oh, yeah, um, yeah. oh, people yeah. are like, I, I was sick, but not COVID. Um, and then and then I kind of at that point was like pretty like free balling, you know. But yeah. uh yeah. Yeah. I was surprised I didn't get yeah. it. I've traveled. I was in New York, uh, the the Christmas that like Omicron was getting everybody. New York was surging. I was dang. there around the holidays. We were in packed bars. My mom got it. Oh, oh dear. I came home. I might be an asymptomatic super spreader. Yeah, right. <laughs> Wait. Do you think me too? <laughs> Do you think me too? <laughs> oh my God. Let's go. Maybe. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, my know, other, the, one of my favorite lines, one, one of my favorite Mo's lines in this was, Terror drives a woman to extremes. That's a great line. It's yeah. such That's a good a great line. line. Yeah. yeah. So many great lines. Mm -hmm. I loved that this episode was brought back during the pandemic. It really like put a smile on my face. Everyone sending me these memes. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. For I know. Sure. I definitely yeah. forgot about this episode, too. I would have totally, yeah. totally forgot about that. A couple that. times in Ned's Declassified, it's like, wow. The, yeah, the writers kind of predicted a couple things. Or at least millennials kind of feel like, oh, yeah, they, they did it. Or like Simpsons did it first. Yeah, you know, yeah, that whole yeah, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember in that episode they caked on all this like white makeup on my face. So I like even watching back, it was like weird. I'm like, I don't remember that, but they were trying to like make oh, me yeah, look to super make you like look pale, pale and sweaty and stuff. And all that glycerin, they put a whole bunch of glycerin on me oh, to yeah. kind of look sweaty. This thick sweat. And crap. um what was that? <laughs> What was the boogers that you that you <laughs> sneezed onto your face shield? Oh yeah, oh, that oh, shit yeah. was, what was real that? booger. I feel I like forget. those were Charlie and PJ's boogers, like for real. Charlie Dude, and PJ, they created actual kids. boogers. Yeah, I forget what they gave me. That was so green. It was the perfect color green. It's yeah, kind of a it is disgusting. Peas or something? Yeah, it was gross. that's like a fun part of of TV and and movie making is like okay, Cookie needs to. Uh, shoot snot onto his face shield and we need to see it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. There's an adult's job <laughs> is is go oh create goodness. boogers that we can put, that look like you boogers project. that we can put on a, a yeah. like, put on the cookie's shield. Um, that's such a funny part of uh, filmmaking. Yeah, mm -hmm. man. It's like that, adults worked on that. That yeah, was their job. Jobs. They got yeah. paid to be like, all right, how are we going to make boogers? <laughs> the consistency uh -huh. of these boogers, that's wrong. Exactly. Again. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Back to the drawing board. <laughs> Damn. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can, can, what, what is the sickest you guys have ever been? You ever, like, like is there any? Oh. I blocked that out. Um, right? Yeah, you okay. kind of just forget. Physical things. sickness, I was nine. My mom had the flu. So did I. I got it from her. I was taking care of her, and she didn't realize I had gotten sick. But every time I got up, I had to throw up. And then my aunt and uncle ended up coming over. We had to go to the hospital and, like, Whoa. be IV. Yeah. But they were like, holy crap. Like, thank goodness you came in. You were really, really sick. And, it, like, you weren't getting better. Dang. And so that that's kind of, like, the last time I remember being super sick. Yeah, so as a kid, if I remember correctly, I, f I forget a lot of my childhood, but um, uh, if I remember correctly, I think once a year, I wouldn't get sick often, but once a year, I would get like really fucking sick, like need an IV sick. Mm. Like, Oof. and that happened, I think once a year, I would get a really bad flu or strep or something oh, and so have such strep. a high fever and be unable to keep down anything, liquids or anything, so that we'd have to go to the hospital yeah. and get uh, an IV so I could stay hydrated. Got you. So those were bad. Dang, man. And I don't wow. even remember them. Like, like my mom's kind of told me. I kind of forget that that happened, vague. you know? Yeah. Because yeah. I was just delirious, and they're, yeah. like, giving me IVs, you know? Yeah. That's yeah. Good, what yeah. about you? What about you? But you bringing up strep, that just, I, I hated strep, man. Strep was the worst as, yeah. like, a kid, dude. Did you get that yeah. a lot? Not a lot, but I remember having it, yeah. and it was so painful. Oh, like you hurts. cannot you can't breathe. swallow. Swallowing was tough. Yeah, yeah, that's tough. Isn't man. it always? Ah, <laughs> uh -huh, but um. <laughs> anyway, good one. Um, <laughs> did you guys ever have to like your tonsils out or anything weird like that? Tonsils are in. Mm -hmm. I got my wisdom teeth out. Oh, you did? I didn't do All it. Four. I, and I feel like a champion for it, but I always feel like a champion until like 
two years pass, and then they start to hurt again. And I'm yeah. like, oh, God, I got these things removed. Yeah. yeah. What, 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 did why they you, say what, get them why? out? And you were like, no. They, they told me to get them out, and I just was like, no, I'm a, a real human. I don't have to do these things to prevent pain. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. wow. Dude, yeah. What? Yeah. I yeah. totally want to just, just like, brutish guy. magic I'm like, school bus into your mouth <laughs> right now. Oh, God, you're compacted. Whoa. <laughs> Man. They have to hurt, right? Oh, they they hurt. Mine were bad. hurting before I got them out. Daniel, yeah. Go get them out. Go get that shit out. I mean, you know, pain pain is just as they say, pain is just the bitch leaving your body. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say, you know. So uh, <laughs> Oh wow. I feel like I'm stronger for it. No, wow. you're just dumb, dude. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Doesn't you're that just really dumb. hurt your jaw? That's what I'm that saying. No, no, no. Headaches? It did. No, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Wisdom teeth? Are the worst, but yes, I'm they're like, supposed to come out, dude. Dude, I don't know. It's just so hard for me to, um, I don't know, deny myself the human experience in certain areas. I know, I know. It sounds ridiculous. It sounds ridiculous. And you know I'm what? not I'm a religious extremist. I'm not, I just, I'm not just, saying that for drugs. I just don't want to deny myself the human experience. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, dude. That's wow. kind of crazy, bud. <laughs> Wow. It's kind of crazy, but it's a real know, normal procedure. Procedure, it happens real quick, and then uh, they're out, and there's yeah. no more pain. You know? Yeah. Uh, okay, for for real. Yeah. I yeah, yeah. I <laughs> went in and you know was asleep doing the count back and whatever, and I woke up. I was face down. First of all, on my <laughs> face, strapped to a <laughs> gurney in about? the yeah. middle of a hallway. Oh, I didn't what? even know the dentist's office had a hallway oh. behind all the other rooms. Or a gurney. <laughs> um, what? <laughs> Lindsay. Were your organs harvested? You guys, I, I had to were literally you sit myself up and be and like start to get up, and they were like, "Hello." I was like, "What is this?" Like, <laughs> dude, I'm corner frightened. clinic. It sounds like a crime has been committed. And it was did in you, Santa Clarita. Did you they feel? Nice did you there. feel okay? Everywhere? I mean, I never feel okay. <laughs> was your belly there, button stinky? But, <laughs> oh damn! Well. It wasn't. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, wait, I that's, knew that's horrifying. Wait, but oh, just, I woke up in the chair that I was no. I was in some fucking hallway. They wheeled me in there. Face down? Yeah. I woke up like... Oh. Face down? This is, why would someone be face, face down on your mouth? Because I think I had like turned over or something on the gurney. I don't know. Uh, oh, it's probably something actually like there's so much like drainage from oh, your... Oh, they're like, like let you it, can't be let on it your out. back. Like it, there probably is so a reason. So they put you under. You were there when they put you oh, under. Oh, you're under. Yeah. Okay. You're, oh, under. Under. you're under. Yeah. That you're was my under. first time going under was my wisdom teeth. And man, that shit feels weird. Uh, like, like I'm there in the chair. And the dentist, you know, is like, hey, okay, count back from, and then it's just black. And then I like woke up, but it felt like no time had passed. Ooh, yeah. So it's such a strange experience. Like yeah. Yeah. all of a sudden I'm looking at the doctor and he's like, the dentist, and he's like, it's done. And I'm like, what the fuck do you mean it's done? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I just sat down. Yeah. Oh man. It's such a yeah. weird sensation, man. Yeah. yeah. What were your thoughts when you're there? Because I love watching those videos, like where people get the wisdom teeth removed or so whatever. So funny, and like, dude. Loopy and crap. Yeah, I had none of those drugs. Oh. I was not loopy literally at all. Dude, what they did they do? Drugs? Drugs? They didn't do. They anything. didn't even take out no, no, your no. wisdom. Can I tell you what they the did butcher. do? Can I tell you what they did do? Uh -oh, uh -oh. They sewed one back up too tight, so they had to rip the stitches out of it while it was healing and restitch it upright. Oh my god, that's did a you go to surgery. like? Did you go to like a, a like a Santa Clarita school? folks? Santa. Cl oh right, where did they, you go the, to like, like the school, school? The discount school. <laughs> Dang, dude, Man. I used to go to get these discount haircuts from like a school. They call it Barber College and. Beach. And when I wanted a cheap haircut, I would go and they would butcher me every time. <laughs> it was never worth it. I'm like, yeah, you fooled my hairline. Oh. Yeah. No. Yeah. So you went to a d dentist college. You went to a dentist yeah, college obviously. and you said, give obviously. me the discount. You went to a veterinarian. Give me, yeah. <laughs> give me what you think a patient can take before they die from this oh my surgery. God. Um, I don't want to deny myself the human experience. experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude. Yeah. That's crazy. They should have let you keep them, though. I don't think I got to keep mine. Aren't those fuckers huge? I don't want them. They are so cool. The, they mean, look like dinosaur know. fossils. Yeah. Oh, what? Just seeing the root of those teeth? Yeah. Dinosaur yeah. Fossils. No, the roots it. are just like... They... It's strange, yeah. <laughs> There's more to the iceberg. Yeah, you would be someone who keeps teeth on a shelf. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> she I put, thought you put them in a locket. Yes. That's These good. are the collection <laughs> from my exes. Oh, dang. <laughs> Dang it. Souvenirs from my past Ooh, lovers. That's actually a great thing. Do you guys have souvenirs from past lovers? Nope. Souvenirs. Nope. 
For, oh, not even a dirty pair of panties that you never wore. Uh, I have a couple like random like love letters that were sent to me yep. that I kind of just really keep sweet. in a drawer. Yeah, no. So as a as a young man, I used to keep right like there's a lot of sentimentality in relationship. There's a lot of like, oh well, even after the relationship is gone, this was such a she wrote me that letter that one time. No, now when I find those, I'm like, well, that relationship's over. No, no, that's good. That's truly. Good. It's just like that's done. Yeah, moving on. So. Any, anything Do you have love from letters Devin? from me? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything from you Lindsay? You never wrote me any love letters? I bet you I did. I bet you you didn't. I bet you I did. I bet you you didn't. For sure I did. Boy, I we were together everything. over a year. My For heart. sure My I wrote heart. you things. Sure. I don't think I you were things. into your romantic fucking songwriter stage yet. I oh, was. Dang. You weren't. I wrote you songs. Let's hear one. For sure. Let's hear it. Why did you never sing these? <laughs> For sure. There was a song that I wrote while I was signed to Universal. Mm. Yeah. Did they? I would have played it for you. You just don't remember. Devin, there were a lot of drugs. You got to give us a little bit. <laughs> but did you even give me a chance to hear it? Yeah, I think so. Hmm. Daniel, have you heard this song? No, no, I haven't heard it. And it didn't make you stay though. Was you... I didn't hear it. Devin, I think you did. I think you owe I the audience. I promise, if if you we, we <laughs> sang me a song, we might as my first boyfriend you, you made a song there. for we me. We might have. Like, I never would have gotten the drugs. We might have. We might have broken up changed. while I was making it. Okay. Oh. It was called Tuesdays, and Tuesdays. it was about how we used to hang out Tuesdays after your acting class. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's great! Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't even talk about that. That makes me so happy. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. Oh my god, I want to go hear it. It's somewhere. My my parents probably have it on. Like it was a demo. It was like there was a time when I was signed to Universal and like I wrote all these demos and like recorded them with like producers and that's out there somewhere. Tuesdays. It, ah. it was like what about Tuesdays for your acting class? <laughs> what about the first kiss hey. in your room? Uh. Hey. What about that? yeah? Whatever. That is so <laughs> sweet. Whatever. I wrote I you that. things. Okay. I did well, things. That's I mean. Great. But but do you guys keep uh, sentimentality? You said you said do. you got a couple letters couple tucked in a drawer. Yeah, yeah from I, past lovers. I do. Past lovers. Do just from from all of them. So it's nothing special. Do it's current not lovers one. know this? Uh, doubt it. Doubt it. Doubt it. Yeah. Sorry. I think it's absolutely <laughs> absurd oh, okay. for people to be upset about you keeping stuff. Yes. I yeah. No. Yeah, I don't. Like, I think that's absurd too. It's you're a allowed too to possessive. Keep, you're yeah. allowed to keep things this from your life. Part of me. Yeah. You're not yeah. saying I want to be back with them. You're just right. keeping a memento yeah, from a time so in your life. I, agree. I I kept a lot of stuff from from the boyfriend that like really, you know, that I had to go to court. Yeah, whatever. That that whole thing. I kept a lot from him even after that all happened because. It was such a pol polarity that I experienced in the relationship, like my happiest times and then the worst, mm -hmm. absolute worst time of my life. But I couldn't let this go because I couldn't reconcile the two halves. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, slowly like working through it and I don't know, tur turning that shit into other stuff or finally being able to let it go. Do you, do you look through it and like do you think it'll be part of the process of letting it go to let the things go? I do. I do because like I don't just want to um, reduce our relationship to that conclusion. Mm. And um, mm. there are so many things that he did for me that I had never felt before. And um, yeah, so I just didn't want to give it away. He was somebody who was romantic and put a lot of thought um, into things and gifts. And there were a lot of homemade gifts. And yeah, you know... I, <laughs> It was, it's, yeah, I, even yeah. after all that hurt, it was, it was still really nice to look through yeah. and see like, nice. wow, he really did love you. It just got a little hairy at the end. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. After like my last massive relationship, like it was a moment when I, I deleted all the photos. I was like, fuck this. I'm not keeping these. But also she, we were together four and a half years Wow. and then broke up pretty quickly like it happened pretty suddenly and then she didn't give me a fucking conversation for a year mm. like a a conversation hey can we fucking talk i tried she wouldn't do it and so during that year i was like fuck this fuck everything <laughs> like yeah i don't like i'm not holding on to any of this then like yeah, fuck yeah the, the weight of having played this part in our you know yeah. experience like, yeah and now it's just it, it was like a release to be like no, I'm not holding on to like this is over. So why am I going to hold on to all these photos and all? Yeah, yeah. This is done. I lived it. I'm grateful for it. But like, 
this is done, dude. Delete, yeah. like, yeah. delete, move on. Like, I'm moving on. So it's been a part of my process to not hold on to things. That's good. Can we talk about, like, the six degrees of separation with at least hmm. three of your girlfriends? Yeah, Lindsay. Yeah, Lindsay. So there was Molly. Mm-hmm. Who... Uh, guested on 10 Things I Hate About You mm -hmm. during the time she was dating you. Mm -hmm. Then there was Ashley Jackson, mm -hmm. who also guested on 10 Things I Hate About You. <laughs> and I think she was part of Molly Bucook's like posse or something. So that next. Wow. Sarah, you you. <laughs> I went to Notre Dame High School with her oh, really? for our freshman year. Yeah. We were great friends. Oh. And then I see that I'm like, what? Yeah. So I feel like, you know, at least three of your That's girls so have wild. had such Devin's, a strange... Devin's got a type? Right? You guys, are you guys no, similar? They, no, 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 no. All those girls were pretty different. Yeah, I mean, like, a very different. They, they were, yeah, yeah. Those, those a weren't blonde, a, type. a brunette, and Latina. Yeah, those were all yeah. different, and like different person. I, yeah. I don't, I don't really stick to like a archetype. I, I just a specific I, I, pool. Yeah, they all come from the same <laughs> yeah. place. Got you. Hey. It's just fishing in the same right, pond. Right, right. Oh yeah. Different colored fishes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a type, Daniel? Do I have a type? No, I I love people. I just Exa like people. Yeah, I feel like Daniel's I, I like an, an equal you know? opportunity lover. Yeah, you know, you know, whatever comes my way, you know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hold yeah, on, man. hold on. All yeah, right. Whatever comes my way. You, you know? just put out the brisket and let it slow cook. And <laughs> <whatever> comes. <laughs> hey, I love that analogy. That's great. Yeah. Oh yeah, whoever smells it. Yeah. yeah. You, you want some? <laughs> There's plenty. <laughs> <Don't get> it. <laughs> it's tender. <laughs> it's tender. <laughs> I feel like yeah. I do not have a type at all. In fact, uh -huh. I think looks are the last thing that I look for. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> <laughs> you go around sniffing no, for but, that stink. <laughs> but for real, there, there. I mean, Adir was um, a, a sweet little, you know, Indian man, and <laughs> is, huh? oh, he, just really just, Adir, just doxing everyone. Huh? Adir was um, lovely, and and he was so attractive to me. Although uh -huh. um, traditionally, I don't know that he would be. Considered that way, especially in our whatever. But well, he knows that. He's fucking guess. amazing. And <laughs> no. he's, no, no, no. But he yeah. just loved, loved him. Good. <laughs> I guess the rest were kind of co-stars, which was fine. But yeah. um, no, anybody who just gave me that good feeling. Like I did a, a crew guy who was totally different from him. Six, five, white guy. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it, yeah. totally different yeah. for me. And, and mostly if you can do something quirky, that's what I like. I, I, I do not like traditional. I mean, mood. I feel like all of us are attracted to people people like some people have this this like like shell type that they're looking for like I, and that's yeah. that's i guess that's fine if that's your thing it's like weird it's to me to tough, have though. uh like purely a physical mo like yeah. they are all yeah. they are all blonde yeah. they are all five two like no and it's crazy uh, i'm just it, attracted it's crazy to how people many women yeah. are like um oh well, he's gotta not be six, six, not six two. well then not at all like um, yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. Short hair. Like, yeah. No, no. stank. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah, that, ma that makes it hard to really have a human connection because you're, you're, you want to engage with this idea of what you want versus finding these people and, under mm -hmm. and exploring. Yeah, I'm attracted know, to who someone like. is, who they're in, what their energy and is, the what surprises. their sense of humor I, I like is. The yeah. Surprises of, uh, of people, you of, know? Yeah. Of like different types. Yeah. Yeah. Sick days. Yeah. Sick, nice. some sick. Love, love sick, dude. man. Love, love sick. sick. Love will make oh, you man. sick. Oh right? man, dude, yeah. dude. Love made me sick so much of my life, man. Wait, <laughs> quick question: Were y'all coupled up during the pandemic? No. Ooh, yeah. I was coupled up yeah, with actually. Theo Olivares from oh, Ned's oh, Declassified, okay. the the curly haired bully. <laughs> he was my roommate at the time. Wow. It was just me and him. Fucking and your hand. Up. That is it. Oh man. Wow. Yeah. Let's not talk. Okay. Let's moving All on. All right. All right. <laughs> I was so alone. The carpal yeah. tunnel. Go on. Yeah, um, I, I was coupled up, and it was good because I didn't. You know, I guess dating in COVID must have been rough. Because dude, can't I go was. Out, right? I'm not so sure alone. that was a thing. It wasn't. Uh, yeah, I right? was. I've never been more alone. It was the first time I got on uh, dating apps. Oh wow. Oh, yeah. Just a look. And what did you find? Yeah. There? You couldn't go meet. I'm, I met some nice people. Oh. And they you just met up. Chatted with them? <laughs> they met up like through the <laughs> thing. It's like, hey, check me out. You got a hole in this. <laughs> just rub it against the phone. Oh just my rub. God. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, I can hear it. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Um, uh. Yeah, no, I was so because going into the pandemic, I was coming out of like recovering from like this major breakup, breakup that yeah, like took that. a long time to really like get through but then it's the pandemic i have never been more alone <laughs> like mm -hmm. even for just like the touch of a friend I do you know what i mean like i it, the, the pandemic i realized like oh i need <laughs> i need physical, physical touch, touch. Yeah. like 
I'm actually starting to go crazy because I'm like Theo and I weren't like hugging each other during the day. Do you know what I mean? Like there wasn't a lot of touch in my life. Yeah, but why? <laughs> Here's the thing. Yeah. So She's I was that, but why? I was quarantined with my best friend and Yeah, you guys holy, were rubbing each other's feet. It's fine. Holy we I've never known how to cuddle like before her. Oh. And it was just it is like being plugged into a charger when you're yes. when you're charging with the right person. I agree. And she is just like my friend, like soulmate. And I I was never that touchy feel like you know how girls always like supplement each other's beds, like yeah, on yeah, sleepovers yeah. and shit and whatever. I didn't do that. Yeah. And so to like bring that kind of affection into my life at that point when I just like I needed it so bad. Yeah. And um I get that's it. what I have found. That's that what I found so over needed. the pandemic is actually yeah. More connection, more physical touch than I'd ever had. Yeah, that makes sense to me. I think it's uh, definitely like a uh, uh, easier thing yeah, for like uh, ladies, you yeah, yeah, and yeah, your girlfriend sure. to be like, hey, let's cuddle and watch a movie. Um, me and Theo weren't really like, hey, bud, <laughs> like, come on, I'll I'll be little spoon this time. That's what I always say. <laughs> yeah, dudes want to cuddle, sleep back to back. It's true. Yeah. I, mean, yeah, I mean, the butt's well, still know, there. Me and my brother, we used to, yeah, yeah, we do the little, yeah. little back-to-back thing. And even oh, that, so even nice. that is, back in the day, is, is I mean, touch, like is like human seven. touch. Man, I, mm, we need it. We yeah. need it as people, yeah. man. Yeah. If you're do you think you're a big physical touch love language person? Yeah. Yeah. Just, just I could do without physical touch for the rest of my life. To be I, really, I, I, I don't could, believe you. I could do it. I could do it. I really believe I could. What is your without love language, Daniel? Touch? My love language is words of affirmation. As long as somebody's coming with that right energy and positing it into my world, then I'm good. Because I'm not going to intrude on your world. Do not intrude on mine. Yeah. You know? you oh, yeah. It keeps, it keeps oh. keep it and over there. I think that's fine. Yeah. I think that's cool. Yeah, because if um, I'm having a great day, I don't want to get dragged hey. into your crap. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. You're really handsome. Oh. And you're a really smart person. I love and it. truly, I like the values that you've created for yourself as a man. Uh, and as a person in this world, I think you hold really high integrity and like really high intelligence. And I really appreciate you as a friend. Nice, brother. I love you. Appreciate it, man. And mm -hmm. I'm going to return all that right back to you. Man. Yeah. Touch me. Yes. <laughs> Mine's <laughs> touch, baby. Daniel, I was <laughs> literally touch. about to say this because like <laughs> a, any touch. time that I, I appreciate Daniel so much. I'm yeah. sure there's a fucking clip of YouTube videos you can make of how many times that I've. But Daniel yeah. is all of those things. But you yeah. always have this great like smile and or I should have known like Aww, like when somebody right. says that to you and it's like yeah. you're so gracious about it and it's so full I love yeah. that yeah words yeah, of affirmation is nice yeah yeah my so, uh, quality time acts of service uh, quality time nice. acts of service yeah acts of service are probably even before it's quality like hey time. let me help you mm -hmm. out with this thing mm -hmm. yeah. what are the other ones um quality time physical touch words of affirmation There's a shitty one gifts. gift giving like That's or gift receiving shitty. Like, come on, what? It's just like you are so but, shallow. You like receiving I, gifts. I, go ahead, go I, ahead, go ahead. Look, let me okay. know. Okay, yeah, I will say I've seen that stand up. It's really funny. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, there's yeah, a stand up yeah. who makes fun of that, and I love that. Like, that's a really good joke. However, uh, uh like my father is a really thoughtful gift giver, mm -hmm. and always have. And when you receive a thoughtful gift, mm -hmm. it does land as intimate. Yes, it's not like yes. it's not like. Oh, you gave me that fucking bougie Louis Vuitton <laughs> diamond, whatever. I, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know. If, I don't know rich things. Um, yeah, same. But <laughs> I don't speak rich. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't know We're what those things actors. are. But um, <laughs> but no, when you receive a thoughtful gift and someone does that consistently, like it's a love language. It, it lands as love. The giving, I, right? I think, is a language, but the receiving. <laughs> Oh, I like, mean, <laughs> hello, <really>? princess. <laughs> <laughs> that part. That part. Right. Oh, man. Uh, right. The act of receiving, though, is very underrated and I think underdeveloped. Mm. You know, like mm. the act of graciously receiving something or like, I don't know, mm. just like uh, receiving it. Full. Like everybody can give fully, but nobody can really like, re receive very fully. Mm. Yeah. You know, I always. Yeah, I I'm a bad, <laughs> bad receiver. This all sounds weird. Uh, pause. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> pause. Yeah, 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 pause. Uh, but yeah, receiving <laughs> gifts. <laughs> I always think there's like some ulterior motive. Oh, here they come with this one. Now I gotta get in some fun. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just so you're right. There you brought out the wheeze laugh, dude. That's so <laughs> funny. I can yeah. see you feeling that way. Oh, they got me this thoughtful fucking gift. What a burden. How much was this sweater? Seventy dollars. Fuck it. Just take seventy dollars. Here you go. The only thing I want to exchange is words. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think to that's to your point is yeah. I think some people when you receive something 
you feel the need to make it equal. Oh, let me give you something equal back so that we're even. We, we always got to be even. <sighs> mm -hmm. No, no, man. In relationships, you can you can take sometimes. You can mm -hmm. take you can take a mm -hmm. gift. You can receive mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. not feel the need. It's like when someone gives you a compliment and you give them one right back. It's like mm -hmm. no, no, yeah. no, no. Now oh, now no, it feels you. weird. Yeah. Like, just yeah. take the fucking compliment. And that's what I mean, like receiving and standing Just in your power. You. Yeah. Like the gift is somebody telling you that and then a graceful reception is yeah. like, it, it completes the circuit of energy, right? Yeah. yeah. And receiving is actually a feminine principle and giving is. is a manual, masculine principle, right? Exactly. And I think that's a real, you know, you know, microcosm of like, like the whole, like everything, Mother yeah. Earth. Being able yeah. to be receptive. Even women being able to be open. in their sexual lives, being able to receive like really what's meant for for them in the sexual realm, which, you know what I mean? I don't think women even know like what is available to them there hmm. um, if they could receive it, you know? Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, but you're right. It's one of those shit ass love languages. <laughs> yeah, it's a shit ass love language. <laughs> There's better ones. There's yeah, better yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but hey, no, I, I, yeah, I, I, know, I, I love you, your yeah. point though. That's valid. That opened my uh, yeah. understanding up for sure. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful to receive, it's beautiful when someone can receive what you're giving mm -hmm. them, mm -hmm. you know? You received my words of affirmation pretty well, though. Oh yeah, yeah. well, see, yeah, there you're right. You're right. I guess in certain, from certain, certain angles, it's, it yeah. works for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From certain mm -hmm. angles, you can receive well, huh? <laughs> bang, hey, bang. hey, but I'm <laughs> <laughs> Pause. to the right. Pause. Pause. I'll see you downstairs, right. man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you downstairs, brother. <laughs> Dude. Uh, yeah, love languages are cool, man. Yeah. And languages are sick. Sick, sick days. days. Sick days. Bring it all sick back days. around. Were you guys ever sick on? Set. I have one <gasps> memory of being like feverish while filming Neds. I got mm. my first, like I got my first bad period on Neds, and I could mm. not. Is that a sickness? Uh, my period. Sorry, I don't know. I couldn't get up off the couch. We we oh, we stopped filming for an hour, shit. and then your mom came in and said, "You got to get up," and we oh. had to walk around the building. Like I was in debilitating fucking pain. I could mm. not stand up. And then right. after a while, they were like, all right, but get up. <laughs> <laughs> but get up, yeah. Po yeah, yeah. It, was, it was, <laughs> it was <laughs> unreal. Come on, do something. Unreal. Oh, <laughs> 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 well, it was wild, but your mom came and got me, and she walked me around the building. She, nice. she nice. really has reminded me through this process of making this podcast, like, how much she fucking did on that set. Mm -hmm. and She's a good woman. Us, yeah. Looked out for everyone. Mm -hmm. She was just really looking out for everyone. Yeah. She's a good lady. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I only have like one vague distant fever dream memory of being like really sick one day on set, like in the trailer, just like feverish, oh. but needing to film. Like, yeah. Yeah. so you go film and then you go lay down. Dang. You? Yeah. I don't recall Daniel doesn't get sick. sick. No, no. No, Daniel was like spinning in his spinny chair in the school room, <gasps> yeah, yeah, just yeah. like, wee! Always. Just pen 15, pen 15. Yeah, pen 15, that was my thing, man. That was my thing. Have you seen that That's new show? That's the only thing you remember to me. Oh, yeah, and that, there's a show called Pen 15. Yeah, it's yeah. hilarious. That is one of yeah. the only things. No, Memories. not one of the only, but like, I remember that so specifically because I was like, what has he tried to say to me? I thought I was so, oh, really? Oh, dang. <laughs> because I was like, got her. 15, <laughs> taking this. <laughs> like, not that you wanted to, but I was like, <laughs> but like, what is he trying to this? insinuate? <laughs> right? Damn. My and then you would always himself. do like, you would always do like, Pen 15. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah, dude, as a kid, man, just sitting there just drawing random crap, man. Yeah. yeah. I didn't I didn't have a for some reason I feel like in popular media there's like a penis drawing phase. Do people just draw penises on books? No. No, nope. yeah, I, I didn't do nope. that. I just wrote pin 15, but <laughs> I feel like I remember no, I think I had a penis drawing phase, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, yeah, I think just circle. That was like shaft, super circle. bad, right? Or what super was it? Bad, where I he like movie. draws like a really oh, detailed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Watch super bad, guys. Yeah, great, great so film. funny. Yes, uh, that's a hilarious. I felt bit. seen when they. Nice. When they yeah, yeah. They yeah. You were like, oh, that was me. That I was couldn't me. stop yeah. drawing penises Circles for a while too. <laughs> <laughs> that's me, no, but yeah. Oh, that's great. Sick days, man. Sick days. Sick days great ahead, episode. Sick days behind. Honestly, let's hope those sick days are behind. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. want. I don't want any more of these guys. Please. I please don't, don't want the face shield. I don't yes. want. So the just wash your freaking hands. Just wash your stinky belly buttons, buttons Lindsay. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Well, it's a long way from the heart, Devin. So it's probably not going to be that bad. Damn. I don't even know, don't even know what that means. means. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I like wanted to like go with yeah, the joke. No, I wanted to it. yes and you, my, and I was like, my, my brain was like, the math is a math. That's literally what my grandma <laughs> used to say about everything. 
Oh. And I'm like, is this trauma from when your husband passed away of a heart attack very suddenly? Oh. Wait, she used to say it's a long way from the heart, so I don't know if it's going to get cleaned? No, 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 no. <laughs> oh. That was me just adding the last part of it. But oh. it's a long frame from the heart, like, it's not going to kill you. Oh, oh, oh whatever injury is a long way from the heart. Yeah. Oh, you might lose a finger, yeah, but, you're not but it's a long way from the heart. heart. Yeah. Oh, that's come that's on, Devin. Like, that's so legit, simple. Though. Um. So anyway, um. Do you guys have a tip from this discussion for the viewers at home? Use your spiritual practice to form one of these for your mind. Hey, there you go. Yes. For the listeners, she held up a face shield. Yes. Protect yourself. Put a face mask on your brain. Yes. <laughs> Right? To smell your stinky brain okay. breath. Wow. That part. Oh, that was the chair, I swear. It, it sounded like you farted. It was the chair. It was the fucking chair. Hold on, I'll do it again. Oh, God. Can't do it again. You <laughs> farted. <laughs> Devin definitely just farted <laughs> on uh, air, guys. I didn't. It was the leather chair. All right. The, the tip is uh, you don't need a mask or face shield uh, because you can use manifestation to not get sick. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh my Super spreader. <laughs> Super oh spreaders unite. God. No. Uh, oh, my God. Tip. Just. Just take ginger. Just, just take ginger. Gi the amount of people in LA who are like ginger tea. <laughs> <laughs> the ginger tea. Who needs me who needs Here's modern medicine? Entire thing of ginger. Just <laughs> Dude, there is an entire population of, of people in Los Angeles who, anytime you have any type of illness, yeah. including COVID, ginger tea. And honey, yeah, solve yep. everything. Yep. I'm like, but you want that to be locally sourced, honey? I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, that's the reason. It, if it fails and you get I'm COVID, like, it wasn't locally sourced. Yeah, it wasn't locally sourced. Dude, dude. I'm like, guys, mm -hmm. I like ginger too, but can you shut the fuck up? <laughs> yeah, right, all right, <laughs> bro. You got, you got one. An got actual a, tip. Yeah, you got a tip An from this conversation. Tip. Uh, guys, tip is be as healthy as you can. Care about your health. Um, a hey, you get one life. Let's live it and be healthy while we're doing it. Love that. I like that. That's beautiful. I like that. My tip is, yes, uh, develop your relationship to your love languages. Get to know. Ooh, I get like to that. Know, get to know how you receive love. And how and, you give love. And how you give love. Yeah. And develop that relationship and um, seek it out. Don't go too long without being intimate and without love. It's really needed for us as people. High five. <laughs> That's another oh. episode of Ned's Declassified Podcast. My brother. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this episode of Ned's Declassified Podcast Survival Guide. To check out clips from this episode, go check out Podco's YouTube channel. And for more weekly bonus content, come on and join our Patreon. There's plenty of room here. Thanks so much and see you guys next week.